tell us what it's like. I mean, you've been making independent films for quite a long time. What is it? What is it like in the current environment compared to you know when you were doing this in the '90s, um, when mm -hmm. sort of independent film kind of was really flourishing and had its heyday, and it's become, I, I think, well, a lot more difficult. But maybe not for you. I don't know. It's, it's different. It's always been difficult. The difficulties have changed, and the opportunities have changed. You know, like mm -hmm. in the early '90s, the equipment was so much more expensive and heavy and now it's not it's cheap and it's light and, and almost anyone with a modicum of taste and sensibility can make really world-class looking motion pictures mm. at least looking they might not be good or, whatever, <laughs> or they might be good but don't speak to the populace or whatever mm. uh, so you know that's become easier but because there are so many more films it, it's harder to get those films seen because festivals and yeah, distributors have you know, so much more to see. But this film does have distribution. I see that it's going to be out uh, on Vimeo, and this, it's going to be in theaters as well um, in 35 seconds uh, on April 1st. It's going to be released. Yeah, on uh, yeah on April 1st it opens on, yeah. in New York City, and on April 3rd it opens in Los Angeles, okay. and then in the days and weeks to follow it opens in 10 other cities across the Oh, that's great. Country and uh, it's also on April first available on uh, my own Hal Hartley TV channel kind of thing, uh, Vimeo on Demand, uh, which is you could get there from going to Vimeo on Demand or you can go to HalHartley.com and you can just go to HalHartley.com people. It's easier. Yeah, it's okay. easier. HalHartley.com that will link you right to Vimeo on Demand, mm -hmm. and yeah, you can stream it or download it. <clears throat> Do you yes. like this model? Do you like this new way of being able to be in kind oh, of yeah. roll out in ten cities, and then you can also, I mean, it's day and date, right? You've got a day and date, yeah. And yeah, I movies. The business always changes in relation to the technology, and it, that's the technology now. Most people watch movies on their laptops and on their what do you call them? Um, tablets or, on or, the subway in New York. I'm, I'm watching everybody <laughs> or, watch their favorite television shows on their way to work yep. on the subway. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that. You have to roll with whatever the technology is doing. And so that's one thing that makes it easier mm -hmm. you know, on the easier, but it's still hard. Um, it's still hard to make a movie. It is, the, it is the hardest part, the, the, that part, or is it the hardest part for you? The finding, getting to the story that you want to tell, just figuring out what that is. Well, that's always hard. Yeah, I mean, you, you make you make movies at a deliberate pace. You're not, you know, you're not churning them out every year. You're not. Yeah, yeah. Although I have made a lot of pretty much a film every two years or so. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's the fun part, I and mean, I like that. I like working hard and making a good script. And, and I would like more money on the shooting part. Just because I'd like more time. Yeah. You know, it's one thing when you're 25 to be living on pizza and beer and coffee and bagels and, and just like working every day for years making films uh, and risking, you know, because that was the way it worked back then. You'd risk, you wouldn't pay yourself. But, mm -hmm. but since you own the film, mm -hmm. which is a real, for me, the real indie, that's the definition of it. You're the business person, you're an independent business person who owns the, the film. Mm -hmm. And that's been great because that's how I've made a living and, uh, you know, pay for my home and my insurance and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, but at 55, it's a little harder to take those risks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's not as much. The, the, charm, the charm of pizza and beer has, wor has worn yeah, off. Yeah, you need vegetables every once in a while. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you have, you know, in, in, in gratitude, I say, created a body of work that is, you know, a great contribution to our world of cinema and especially oh, independent.